Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen 2. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty. Um, I have tuned the graphic settings a bit and hopefully we're going to see a lot better performance now, specifically with the loss. I can already see that on the geoscope it seems to be a little bit better. We're going to see about it. Anyways, um, the last mission was quite a grind and today we're looking at a smash and grab mission with a decent, uh, decently equipped <clears throat> squad. We do have an assault sharpshooter, a gunner, shinobi and a technician with us. Um, since there are going to be losses within uh, that mission, 100%, uh, we are probably aiming for around four to six crates and a little bit of experience. Let's go. All right, here we go. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. So, as always, we want to get as close as possible to the supply crates go, go, go. just to make sure oops just to make sure that we can get them and then we're going to start fighting I'm fully expecting as soon as we're breaking our stealth that there will be a lot of losses and Advent coming in at the same time. Seven to nine enemies, so I am expecting that we're fighting nine. We got a reasonably equipped um, we got a reasonably equipped Advent uh, we got a reasonably equipped XCOM team. So we should be fine. Got laser weapons all across the board <coughs> and I noticed we probably should get uh, vests and um, and predator armor quite soon because we're still having pretty low hit points. I was thinking what we're going to do with the 300 plus um, supplies that we're uh, currently about to get and probably the most of it will go into buildings and armor. I could imagine proving grounds to be pretty valuable. Time to motor. Ten four. And in the proving grounds we can then take essentially take Hasmus vests next. Moving out. They are filling uh, they are filling a really good um, niche that we would need to do anyways, which is essentially making you immune to fire, poison, and acid. So vipers and many of the other nasty um, environmental effects are not a big thing anymore. Uh, you can ignore purifiers because they essentially can't hurt, uh, hurt you anymore. All right, look at that. Gonna put our sniper into position. Taxman. Haven't yet seen any enemy. And essentially, if we're putting ourselves also up here, that should be a really, really solid spot. Okay, there are the first enemies. Rolling. So far, by the way, the performance makes a lot of sense. It seems to run a bit smoother than before. Let's see if this still holds true once the losses are showing up. 
I found out why the performance with the loss is so bad. Um, XCOM still uses the Unreal Engine. I mean, that's the engine that they've chosen when they were um, implementing the game. And the engine itself is very single-threaded, so it doesn't deal super well with multiple um, opponents on the map. which for an FPS is no problem because you're seldomly um, having that many units on the uh, ground. But if you're dealing with uh, 40 plus loss, that bogs down the engine quite a bit. Anyways, let's focus on what's going on here. We found two squads, right? So pair of, pair of um, Advent scout and uh, trooper and gunner and trooper Roger. I've got my eyes on you. overwatching Let's make sure we're not getting too many explosions going. Not that I don't like the uh, the loss, but it just it's unnecessary to to bog us down that much. Roger that. Moving to here. What's our chance? Eighty percent, good enough. Moving up here, does that spot another enemy group? Okay, yeah, certainly it does. Let's first of all see what we're dealing with, and then we're, we can engage them. Okay, That's moving into position. Affirmative. Covering now. There's no one around here. Essentially, there's one pack here, one pack here, one pack here. Okay. We can isolate a single pack. We can immediately start with uh, getting the crates. One, two, three, four. Okay. Scanning. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Mm. 
another pair that's a pair of three here so we got this pair of three and the others are always pairs of two Yeah, we don't want to unnecessarily pull another pull another pack. Let's position ourselves over here or simply back here. We leave the crate there for now. Let them come a little bit closer and we should be fine. Okay, we know what the enemies are. Uh, we have a pack of mutant plus, uh, plus two vipers here. Uh, we got um, a mech plus a soldier and we got two double packs of advents. This here being the easiest pack. Should be quite doable. Good, we got two, two, two. That's all we got, uh, got spotted out. So, what we're going to do is We are going to overwatch. Now a sniper is going to start the entire mission. Let's kill the gunner. This here should be an overwatch kill. There we go, work like a charm. Now a few things need to happen first. We are calling in the Sky Ranger. One supply. We're, picking up a steady We're not going to ruin ourselves here. Two supplies. And instead of immediately moving forward, which with those would be an easy way to get another pack uh, triggered. Instead, let's move to here. Solid overwatch trap. Tiny bit back. Overwatch. And just let the mission unfold. Good. Um, I would say we're just overwatching for now. And let's see how they react. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, shit has just hit the fan. That's really bad. 
First encounter with the Chosen. Oh my gosh. Immune to explosions and regen regenerates lost health. <laughs> Takes increased damage from close range attacks and hates skirm uh, skirmishers. Well, let's see if we can if we can kill her. Then I will end this quickly. We don't know how much health she has. Assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. Well, thank you for letting us know. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. I don't know if she was immune to overboard shots, though. So that's interesting. Moving into position. Moving. <clears throat> we still gotta fight this pack, so might as well use the sniper and start it off. We could kill one of uh, the vipers while we're trying for the mutant. Let's get the viper. I think Mutant is going to be a problem. It's holo targeted. This might trigger the loss, but we got to get rid of uh, the mutant's armor. This one's for you. Yeah, it is triggering the loss. I can already see the frame ro uh, rate drop. That's two explosions right there. And there's the lost swarm. Twenty seven hit points, holy moly. It has it had its positive effects because with the loss also the chosen has been revealed and she maybe will choose one of of the lost as a potential target. Our percent hit. Let's first of all get some of the loss down. I want to improve the frame rate, but I also want to improve our chances of not getting the shinobi detected. We got a free auto loader, so I'm not terribly afraid about reloading. Good. Our loader done.
Let's move to here and let's kill the mutant first. Come on. Solid hit. And crit. There we go. Good job. Much easier if you have the necessary weapons. And this here should deal with the Viper. <clears throat> well, you know, we're going to Overwatch. We got a lot of loot, which I really would like to uh, get. We killed a pack of two and a pack of three, that's five down. The biggest problem is the Chosen. 27 hit points is quite a bit. All right, we just triggered the rest of the map. The frame rate is better, it feels. Yeah, and as long as they take them out, everything's fine. Let's see what the Chosen is going to do. Vanishing wins. There's a chance that she's going to be detected with just the amount of loss. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, no one has spotted her out. Oh, there we go. She's immune to explosions, so all that does is it's going to take away her armor. We're going to see about that. Really difficult decision how how to prioritize the targets here. But first things first, I we really need to get rid of a lot of uh, the cho uh, the lost ones here. Just out of curiosity, there would be a chance that we can hit the Chosen. Okay. Oh, 
All right, running and gunning, reload. So we still have more ammunition to go through. That's a solid chance to kill the mech. I will leave a few chosens behind, a few losses behind, so that I can deal with them. The make no mistake, the um, forces of uh, Advent back there are already triggered. So we got to deal with. The chosen first. She's by far the most dangerous target. Moving up. This here should not trigger anyone. Sixty five per cent chance. Flamethrower does not reach her. She's immune to flashbangs, so not even going to try. And that finally shreds the armor. We could try to suppress her, but I don't believe that that would really work. Not sure though. I think she has lightning reflexes built into her kit. If we were to go in now, it would essentially mean that that we would trigger all of uh, these as well. I don't think that's a very wise decision. So before we're dealing with her, let's go back. And see about the the Overwatch. I'm pretty sure if she if, um, if she spots us out uh, that we're going to see that she has lightning reflexes. Alright, they already know where we are, which stinks, so we maybe cannot even focus on um, on the Chosen. We may need to focus on all of these guys here. Join your compatriots soon enough. The 
I hate her so much on normal. In here it's really really bad. There will be no escape. It's killing time. We gotta deal with the mech first. Like I said, the biggest problem for us is all of them have already been triggered um, by the loss, so that is unfortunate. I think we still got two more of them. One upstairs, one downstairs. Time to make sure that he is not uh, going to be um kidnapped so let's see how well this is going it's actually going quite well Um, I think we should go into full cover. That's why we're just going to be melted. She's regenerating some health, but that's about it. Alright, this is going to become a problem soon. Gotta heal ourselves up. Well, she's got, getting us good, that's for sure. Lots of, lots and lots of loot. I find human captives are most eager to trade their secrets for even the hollowest of promises to extend their pitiful lives. Settle down, you're fine. Okay, we got Dr. Noxus. We gotta deal with her. There's no way around it. Healing ourselves. Difficult decision. Difficult decision. This here would only be a below 50% chance to kill her. This here is a kill. Let's take the kill.
go to targeting this guy in the hopes of making this a more fair one-on-one. -on -one. Unfortunately missed, and that's a Yeah, of course. The problem is she's also regenerating, which gives her back quite some health. I imagine she would be a really good target for for a Templar. She's not immune to melee. So besides the one flanking position that we had uh, with our gunner, because the pecs were already triggered, the rest of the mission so far went well and we're still having problems dealing with her. At least the timer has stopped whilst we're battling her. Oh, nice. And imagine this was already like a pretty well equipped team. There is loot and I can't even get it because the Chosens are blocking it again. I maybe at least want to get that loot here. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, we got three more potential kills. Kill confirmed. That's one, two. Kill confirmed. 
and three. Alright, moving and getting the loot. We still got some hit points left over. Hair trigger and advanced scope, that's pretty good. <clears throat> we gotta deal with the crates next. I think we've killed everyone short of one soldier. One advent soldier, no. Advents are all down. We might be able to really get a few of the chests if we play our cards right. I'm wondering why the Sky Ranger call had been cancelled. Well, it doesn't show when the evac is going to land. That is strange. Ready to rock. All right, let's kill some of those. Okay, the FPS certainly has improved. Got the crate, got the reload. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Ready to go. Very nice, Darktown Oxus. Let's go, buddy. Hmm, wait a second. Do we have crates up here? Maybe. No problem, boss. Okay. So seemingly still a few losses up here. Okay, a few overwatch. Um, we should have marked three crates.
So that should clear all of the loss. Now it's just a matter of getting the crates. And since there is no more advent, might as well just move to them. So that was a scary mission, but I liked how it all came together at, in the end. Hmm. Where is the last crate? Where's the last crate? I bet you it's somewhere up here. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Okay, we're going to find out soon where the last crate is. Okay, so the last crate is apparently down, the, uh, down to the south. Ooh, okay. Indeed, I haven't checked there. Well, look at that, we got eight crates, baseline was four to six, and we got eight out of 10, which is pretty good. The only small regret that I have is, there was like a lot of loot here. I think four of the loot items decayed without us essentially getting anything. Okay, eight crates, eight crates saved, two crates lost, chosen kills, so that's five um, ability points. And we even finished the whole mission before reinforcements, way before reinforcements were about to show up. We're skipping turns now to get to the evac and then let's get out of here. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. 
Yeah, the only big mistake was indeed assuming that um, the enemy wouldn't know where we stand, although they were already triggered by the loss. Just assume they know and behave accordingly. That way they got a flanking shot. And we almost got knocked down. sent the Chosen back to their masters with a few scars to show for their effort. If they decide to face us again, we'll be ready. Very good. There we go. So, unfortunately, Lunchbox is out with uh, 17 days of wounding. That's really bad, but we got 50 supplies out of it. Alloys, Alarium Crystals, Hair Trigger, and an Advanced Scope. So, overall, a successful mission. Okay, the chosen J. May Baladur has claimed control of the nearby regions. If we go on missions in this area, there's a good chance that she will show up. Well, totally love fighting against her. Good, let's get the rest of the supplies. And for the first time in a long, long, long time, we do have ample supplies to work with. Let's take a few looks what we need to do. We said we wanted to upgrade the laboratory and we wanted to upgrade the power relay, right? Yes. Power relay upgraded. There's even a second engineer who could be used in here. An infirmary would definitely make sense, but it requires more. Uh, it requires more power. Yeah, that certainly would make sense. A workshop generally also makes sense. Um, how many? How many engineers do we have? We actually have a lot. Yeah, we don't need a workshop. If anything, we're stuffing a second engineer here and putting putting in an infirmary in our queue, plus upgrading the laboratory. That's probably what we're supposed to do. Our bonus, our continent bonus is Metal Fortitude, which is really good. All Battle Madness only lasts one turn. Given the sacrifices you are willing to make on the battlefield, it was inevitable that you would eventually find limited success in some form. Gotta build a radio relay sooner or later. Might as well do that now. So we got our new recruits here. Overall, we're now almost at 10. I'm wondering which continent do we want to um, do we want next? 
I think we want this year all weapon modifications increased is really good. What's the bonus here? Voluntary army is okay. Not as good as in our two man run, so we don't need uh, we don't need a single extra operative. So we're actually going to build the resistance tower here, build radio relay here. And that'll give us the continent bonus. Setting forth for the West African sector. Okay, and before we do that, because we need to install that, let's first of all get some more money. Because we also wanted to build the infirmary. That looks about right. We definitely need more alien alloys as well. Yeah, this here is too expensive. If we were to get extra alien alloys, wow, that's also expensive. Wait, what? Oh. Operation Wailing Snake, defend the resistance haven. Well, we're now in for a treat as uh, they are trying to kill our operatives. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or Okay, so let's put the infirmary into the queue. We're going to train some abilities because it might take some of the guys on to the next mission, just double checking who is here. Mitch Mitchell. Now we were waiting until later. I think the close and personal also counts for melee attacks, if I'm not mistaken. I also totally like the chain shot, but certainly not with a gun. So let's take the close and personal. Shredder is also really good, obviously. And these two here would be good if she would have a decent gun, which she does not. S4 lunchbox. This here is really good. That's not bad either. I like holo targeting. I like light them up. I like dead eye. I like the 10% critical, flat 10% critical uh, chance to hit enemies. Okay, as for Taxman, there are a few good things. This one here is really good. It's probably a must-have. This one here is not bad. Also pretty good. Both of them, this here is effectively always on for him. 
and this here can can be quite good for injured targets as well this one here is not bad this one here is excellent he really has good skills short of these two and he's also gifted which makes it even more fun so it's going to be a really nice sniper once he's done Ever Vigilant uh, is decent. This here is actually not bad. Still, the gun sucks, but. You could theoretically play the Shinobi as well with a shotgun. Hmm. I don't know, this here is good. Getting a free overwatch is never bad. And until formidable, he will not get anything better. So, might as well get that for now. Shredder, not even a question. Resilience is also pretty damn good. But Shredder is better. And I think that must have been almost it. Precision shot, okay. Yeah. She is Shredder, which is good. Ah, oh, that's meh. Her abilities aren't that good. Might as well give her a free flashbang that can always be used. I like it, but these here were better and I know we were saving the points with her. This one here is good. That's good, that's good. Flat 10% crit bonus, definitely worth it. I like Ever Vigilant. Shredder is also good, so we should get that next. That one is good, that's good, that's good as well, specifically for the rockets, I think this is going to be the winner. And that is it. We're going to regularly go through everyone and kind of in an attempt to to train them. So next up, we do have one day to react to the terror mission. 44 hours, that's not gonna be good enough. We do have enough um, soldiers, so that should be okay. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Let's get one more predator armor. And one more vest. Do you ever regret leaving? Okay. You must miss some of it. So I guess we're going to go in in the next mission. Honestly, none of that really bothers me. 
which is directly going to be uh, this here. Let us see whom we could theoretically field. This is going to be a hard mission. I want to double check how how the equipment is going to look like. Okay, after quite a uh, while, I have found a loadout that I like. Uh, we're basically fielding whoever is currently left. Two assaults, two snipers, a grenadier, one shinobi and a specialist. Plus, we're going to field a rookie on top of it. Might as well take the free promotion. She's probably going to um, merge into a ranger, which we anyways wanted. Um, but I'm okay with it either class that she's going to take uh, at this point I don't care too much could have been a good specialist but we will get more rookies in the future so I I really don't mind all too much um, yeah this is going to be a pretty hard mission so I, um, I even bought some new laser pistols here to make the sniper uh, to give the sniper some more swag uh, bought an armor upgrade uh, with predator armor for our um, Shinobi to increase her survivability and if you look at the hit points we're in some cases uh, nearing higher numbers so uh, 10, 7, another 7, yeah we're, we're trying to be more tanky um, 10 to 12 enemies and that's going to happen in the next mission if you liked what you uh, uh, in the next episode if you liked what you've seen Leave a comment down below and thanks so much for watching.